Welcome back everyone. So we're back at uh, Blueprint Auto Sport. We are tuning a G37 today. We're using Uprev. It doesn't have crazy mods, just a exhaust and, uh, and an intake. Cold air. And we're gonna tune it. We're gonna take a base put all the goodies very well kept my boy Omar owns this so this is a G37 and we are going to tune it on uprev today I'm gonna to try to make it as detailed as possible all right so uprev unboxing you get this box Nice instructions. Follow the steps to get your stock and back to stock on file. And you get a sticker. I'll save this for Omar, who's the owner. And let's open this nice packaging. I like the decor. Oh, very nice, very nice. Ah, that's basically what it is because the most of the Stuff is in the program uh, that you download and uh, your account setup. Okay. Gonna connect for the first time. Okay, searching for ECU. Just gotta give it time. Checking ISO software. There you go. Now everything is connected. It does take a little bit. Uh, of time so let's go if this is actually supported careful on that okay go to support Um, search form uh, ECU number just copy and paste This is supported. Okay. I'm actually downloading the stock ROM and then the Osiris update ROM. Uh, let's see, where am I gonna save this? Desktop tuning alchemist. Okay, Omar. G37. Okay, this is back to stock. And the second one is Cyrus. Now that we have uh, that part, I want to log a little bit. 
logging and tracing. Let me see what I want to do. I want to do AF correction. I want to do wide bands for both banks. So here I'm preparing for my base run with my base uh, map in it. The hardware changes that was made was uh, cold air intake and I think a cat delete exhaust, uh, but still stock headers. So I want to scale the MAF MAF first. So I'm logging that. I'm logging uh, wideband AFR. I'm logging the long-term fuel trims, knock, timing, the usuals. Um, this is only going to be for the base run. Okay, I'm going to start the vehicle, make sure everything is recording. So this is our baseline. As expected, the car is running lean with the hardware changes and no real tune. So we're going to correct that first. So I corrected the MAF using long-term fuel trims and I added some fuel uh, past the 3000 RPM mark. And um, I didn't really touch the timing yet. I think the timing is kind of up there from factory already. So on this run, the fueling was pretty good. It was doing 12.5 uh, all the way through. Um, a little bit up top, it got a little bit richer, like 11 something, high 11s, uh, and still the stock uh, timing. On this run, I actually did not go all the way. I think I stopped at like 6,500 RPMs. So I'm going to uh, look at the data and I saw there was some uh, red spots, which I'm gonna correct, and I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, timing and take a look at the torque management system. The, my issue with this software is it's, it's not as robust, I would say, as the other platforms that I typically am used to other interfaces. But Uprev is at the works, um, they told me that to really you know, change a lot of their stuff that they were doing. Really, um, you know, give tuners a lot of control, add boost controllability and all this other stuff. They've been R&Ding um, this whole time. It should be released within three to six months or so. So I'm looking forward to that. So now I'm going to um, add a little bit of timing and take it back. The other uh, thing I have is the flash time is just takes too long on this car. So just adding time in and increased it to like 290. Um, you know, we tried to add a little bit more timing and just made one more horsepower. It wasn't really worth it to keep high timing like that. But this is where we settled. This car is an automatic. The automatics are expected to make it just slightly a little bit of more, uh, less horsepower. Um, but the car feels good. Everything is smooth. My main thing was uh, the customer wasn't looking for power, but it was more about running safe. He added these uh, intakes and exhausts and whatnot that can really you know, make your car leaner or whatnot. Um, and that's the main thing that we want to clean up. There were some, uh, not idling, but you know, th low throttle issues that just cleaning out the MAF, uh, MAF uh, long-term trims just 
kind of help that out. Um, do I see anything big for feature for this car? Yes, I think uh, ultimately getting a plenum ch uh, change and maybe uh, adding a power adder like uh, force induction would really wake this car up. It is a heavy car, um, so you I feel like it does need power. But for cruising, 300 horsepower is perfect. So stay tuned. Uh, I think next we have, on the next episode, uh, a very low mileage Evo. I think it has like 12,000 miles on it. I almost didn't want to tune it, uh, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching.